guys, today we're doing something a little bit different. We're going to put the Menso brush and the Boku Undo brush to use. We're doing a field test today, so keep watching. All right, so for our field test, we have one lashy cat tail. We've got a cup of clean water. We've got our ink, and today we're gonna to be using Kuratake Sumi Ink 60, since these are technically Sumi brushes. We have scratch paper, and we have the two illustrations that we're going to ink. And we have, again, one really naggy cat. So I am going to go ahead and start with the Minso brush, or Men So brush. And we're gonna get all up in Kara's grill and we're gonna start inking. Ooh, ooh, gotta uncap that ink. So how are you guys today? My morning has not been super swell and I just got ink all over the handle of my brush. And of course, since I'm now sharing a chair with a cat, I don't have anything handy to wipe it off with. Lucky ducky me. It's all right. I'm sure I'll just get my hands super gross. And we'll just live with it. So I am inking today in the Denik Inktober notebook. Mostly because I'm on a mission to use what I've already got. And I'm trying to be really delicate with my brush strokes, but the Minso, and this is, I believe the smaller, yep, it's the smaller of the two, is capable of some really juicy brush strokes. So it's really more effort to try and be delicate and you can check my description below for where you can get your own they're quite a bit cheaper than your average Kalinsky sable inking brush were a much larger size so they would also be very handy for watercolor and the menso brush is made by Kuratake let me move my camera since it is hitting the end of my brush and the other brush is made by Boku Undo, and I'm actually having trouble finding it so I can link it to you guys. Um, I bought both at Mido in San Francisco, so maybe you could find it through the Mido website, although I think I checked there and I couldn't find it. They don't have as many stationary supplies on their US website as they have in their store. They actually have two stores in the San Francisco Japantown Mall. They have sort of the cute home goods store that has like stationery and scrapbooking stuff and just other cute things. Um, and then they have like the more stationery store which sells, trying to be careful here. And uh, goofed right there. Their stationery store sells like pencils and a few art supplies and a lot of notebooks and fountain pens. And that's the one I got it from. Now, the Menso brush is a bit easier to find. but you can get it at Mido as well, or you can get it 
from the linked sources below. One of the nice things about inking with a brush over inking with a nib is this, even though I'm putting down some really large line weights and I'm continually off camera, apologies, um, it dries much quicker. Now, this is a little more challenging and uh, I have several things working against me that I will bring up. One, I'm working on the spiral, which I hate to do and I really strongly recommend against it. Um, my arm is actually sawed against the edge of my desk so I don't have a full range of movement. And then I've got a cat at my back who's further inhibiting my mu movement. So if you're trying to be delicate with a brush like I'm trying to be delicate, I would recommend you give yourself plenty of room. You remove your piece from whatever book you're using, you clean off your desk, and you make sure you actually have room to work and you have room to have a full range of movement. And honestly, I would even kick the cat out. And I know that's like animal cruelty to some of you guys because you let your cats own you, but to me, a cat is a roommate who doesn't pay rent. If I would kick my roommate out of the room, I will certainly kick my cat out of the room. He has a whole apartment to enjoy. He doesn't have to be everywhere I am all the time. Now, I also have this like one stray hair that you probably can't see that actually makes inking with the Menso even more difficult because it wants to stick out and be all up in the way. Um, and I have actually trimmed brushes before and ruined the brushes. So I'm <laughs> just gonna have to deal with that stray hair. Now, we have the Boko Undo and I'd use some brush soap to keep help it keep its point because I have a problem where my Sumi brushes, even after I clean them, end up all splayed out. And this is the medium, but it's actually much finer than the Menso brush, which works for me. It's about the same size as a Creative Mark Rhapsody size four or size three. So it's a little more cat, a little more what I'm used to do, working with. All right, I have my chair to myself again. Now it helps not to ink in a sketchbook like this if you can help it, especially for nicer pieces because your wrist is gonna seesaw on the edge and it's gonna ruin your ability to pull a nice line. I mean, it takes a lot of hand control to accommodate for that. And I know some of you can do it, um, but if you are having trouble inking, I just recommend removing anything that makes your life even a little more difficult um, in trying to work on developing your skills when you have a best case scenario. So you can get some really nice, juicy line weights with these. which would probably work a little bit better if you had a larger drawing than this or you really want those nice, thick, heavy line weights. And if that's the case and you're using, say, a fine line, that's going to take you forever. And for some of us, working with a brush size as large as this is quite a learning curve and takes a lot of practice. And unfortunately, I'm a bit out of practice with it. It can be really fun to do though. 
You just have to be patient and put the time in. And it's also one of those skills that if you don't use it consistently, you do get rusty at it. Or if you're only used to making art a certain way, you can get rusty at it. That's why if you can afford to do so, I really recommend you guys play around with a variety of media and expand your repertoire. A lot of what you learn how to do digitally, I mean, sorry, uh, a lot of what you learn how to do traditionally will help you in your digital art. So even if you're someone watching this who is, you know, only a digital artist, I really recommend you give traditional art a try, even if you're bad at it. I mean, that's just part of learning. Is being bad at things. All right, so the Kuretake Mento Brush and the Boko Undo Mento Brush. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I hope you found it inspiring. I'm gonna go clean my brushes out thoroughly to prepare them to be put away. It's definitely an important part of your brush inking process is cleaning your brushes properly and not allowing the ink to dry in them. So I hope to see you guys again really soon. And if you enjoyed this brush, uh, Blah, 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 blah. this brush inking video please check out some of my brush inking tutorials in my advanced inking techniques playlist have a great day guys bye